Uh, Rose writes in from Southeast Wisconsin. Hi, Andy. Big Al and Yo, Joe. Yo, Joe. Yo, what's up, Rose? <laughs> um, here's for the important stuff. Call me Rose. All right. Okay. We already did. <laughs> I drive a 2006 Toyota Prius. Gotta love the 57 MPG. You ever driven a Prius, Big Al? I test drove one once. Oh, I knew you did. You green <laughs> vegan. <laughs> I'm, I'm for saving the earth you and are. making us healthier. You are. You are. Have uh, you driven a Prius? I've never been in one. So uh, Annie was getting a new car, and, and she wanted a, a small car, so she drove the Prius C. It had just come out. It's a little one. Tiny. Tiny. And to try to get on an on-ramp up, up a freeway, <laughs> that was an adventure. <laughs> so I said, I don't think this is the one. <laughs> uh, Rose has no pets anymore. I'm 57 and retired. Uh, retired at age 55. I own my home with no mortgage. All right, congrats. Um, I have no earned income. So everything's coming from her investments, it yeah. looks like. Investments or pensions or both. Okay, this is about Roth conversions. Sorry. Uh, no back door. I don't want to deal with the pro rata nonsense. Okay. Okay. Um, well, and you can't do a backdoor with uh, no with no, in, no earn, earn earn income. income anyway. So, <laughs> so that works. I think you're fine, Rose. Yep. No, no worries. Um, I can take money from one or more of four sources to do Roth conversions from traditional IRA, 401k accounts. Okay, I can take money from one or more of four sources to do Roth conversions. So she's probably talking about paying the tax, I'm guessing. Okay, we'll see. Okay. I could take about the same amount of money from each source. The four sources I could take the cash out of are. So if she's taking the cash out of, that sounds like if she wants to convert it or not. But we'll go down. Inherited okay. IRA. So, okay, so she's getting an RMD through age 87 on an inherited IRA. Um, just for edification, everyone out there, you cannot convert an inherited IRA. Um, but if you're taking cash from the inherited IRA and you're, you're reinvesting it or spending it or potentially using it, you know, to pay some pay the tax, tax on, the on conversion. a conversion. Sure. You can. Uh, brokerage yep. account. Okay, so that's just a non-qualified capital account. Um, 401k, the rule of 55 applies. So what she's stating there is that if you have a 401k account, you can pull money from a 401k as long as you separate from service from that employer at age 55. Rose is 57, so she does not have a 10% penalty when she pulls money from the 401k. And then she could take Social Security starting at age 62. So she's right. 57. Social Security is um, a couple of years down. So here's a, just a few things this is a pretty long question. Yeah, um, maybe we'll kind of shorten it. But here's what I'm what I'm trying to figure out now. She has no earned income, right? And so she doesn't want to do the back door because she doesn't want to do the pro rata stuff, right? And she wants to um, no back door. I don't want to deal with the pro rata nonsense. Okay. Yeah. Well, unless Rose, unless you're married and your husband has earned income but if you have a 401k account versus an ira there is no pro rata rule with the 401k it's just the iras that is true so you could put Wait. everything into your 401k and you could you could yeah right so th th there's ways around the pro rata rule but sure. anyway um maybe she's got a big retirement account that she's trying to convert and so she's got these different areas of excess money outside of the big 401k that she can um use the money to pay the tax. Right. Okay. I understand the tax implications of the RMD 401k. That's ordinary income tax. All right. So brokerage account is going to be 15%. If she takes Social Security, 15% uh, of that is going to uh, be tax-free. As a note, the funds are being converted to get them into a tax-free account and to reduce my future tax bracket, which she believes is going to be in the 28 or 33% if she does nothing. Wow. Okay. So she's got a lot of income, other income. 
The longer it takes to move the funds, the more years I'll be in a higher tax bracket. The plan below includes my personal spending budget and the rest is for conversions in taxes. So she's going to convert up to the 24% tax bracket. Um, and then she's going to convert to the 28% tax bracket when the uh, tax brackets change. And then hopefully in 2030 and thereafter, uh, she's going to convert at the 25. And, and by the way, the tax brackets change in 2026, at least as they're scheduled to right now. So ideally, I'd like to have most or all conversions done before the age 72 RMDs kick in. This is my plan unless certain presidential uh, administrations mess up my plans again. I live in a state that collects tax. She wants to move to a tax-free state. Uh, We're currently in low tax time. She's in the 22% tax bracket versus the 25. um, That when rates increase. Um, I know at the end of 2025, the brackets are planned to increase. Yeah, I just said that. If I use ordinary tax funds, the remainder of the tax bracket for conversion shrinks due to the higher ordinary income tax. So she's going to do a conversion, but she has to pay more tax on the conversion. So the amount she can convert is lower. Right. Okay. Correct. All right. So, however, the federal tax bracket percentages are lower. So maybe it makes sense because I'm in a low tax environment. Maybe I use these lower ordinary income rates to get the money out versus using ordinary income rates in the future to get the money out. I think that's the gist of the question. Okay. I'm with you. Um, what do you think? Because she's going to be in the 28 or 33% tax bracket. If here's, she does nothing. Here's yeah. the biggest rule of thumb. As long as you stay under the 28 or 33%, or if you stay in the 28 or lower, that's what your, your math should look like. Right. And so it depends how much funds you have in your brokerage account or how much your required minimum distribution from your inherited IRA, which, of course, is taxable. So let's start with inherited IRA. Um, with that, then you've already got that income. It's already factored in, so you can convert up to the top of that bracket. Your brokerage account will be capital gains. You can then pay a 15% tax likely on that. 401k, you're going to have more ordinary income yeah, tax. Yeah, I know. So we already less, went through less, that. She already less did, conversion. She, so wh- I guess the question is, Al, what, what she, should she use ordinary income tax or capital gains tax now in a low tax environment? Um. Well, we don't know enough about what these numbers are, so it's impossible to say. No, it's not. Look at <laughs> If you're going to take money from a retirement account and pay the tax, include every the, the amount of money that you're paying in tax and make sure that your effective rate is going to be the same or lower when you do a tax projection in the future. Yeah. I think Alan is still super confused on the question. I thought that's what I said. I think you're confused with the answer. No, because you just repeated it. Exa- well, no, capital gains tax is 15, and ordinary income taxes are going up. I mean, I just read the question. Maybe you weren't listening to it. All right, whatever. we got to take a break. Show's got your money or wealth. Are you prepared for retirement? Schedule a free financial assessment with an experienced financial professional right online at purefinancial.com. 